welcome to another episode of Cooking with Christina Fogel. That's me! The Hollies are here. So it's time to start making some cookies. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorites. Chocolate covered marshmallow cookies. I said marshmallow! <laughs> yeah! First I'm going to make the cookie, it's just a shortbread cookie and it has four ingredients. It has one cup of softened butter, one cup of powdered sugar, two cups of flour, and one one half teaspoons of vanilla. I'm going to add my softened butter and I'm going to whip it with my mixer until it's nice and creamy. I'm going to add the powdered sugar. I'm going to mix in the powdered sugar. I'm going to add the flour. I'm going to add half of it at a time just so it's easy to mix in. I'm going to stir in the rest of that flour. I'm going to add the vanilla. That looks good. The dough is coming together. I'm going to divide the dough into two pieces. I'm going to wrap each piece in plastic wrap and refrigerate it for at least an hour. I'm going to form each piece into a disc. Alright, I'm going to refrigerate it. Dough is ready to roll and uh, if you have it in the fridge a little bit longer than an hour, you might want to let it sit out a little bit just so it's easier to roll. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour down. Take our dough. Flour on the rolling pin. If it's a little stiff, just let it sit and it'll soften up pretty quickly. I'm gonna roll this out to one fourth inch thickness. But it's a little bit thicker because this dough is not gonna rise. I'm gonna use a little tiny cookie cutter and cut out small circles. If you don't have a small cookie cutter, just leave it around your kitchen. I noticed that I have a small cap that works perfect. They can go fairly close to each other on the cookie sheet. They're going to spread just a little bit, but not a lot. I'm going to bake this for 6 minutes at 400 degrees. Time to make the marshmallow. This is so much fun. This is my favorite part. So the ingredients to make the marshmallow is we're going to need 3 fourths cup sugar, 1 fourth cup water, 1 fourth cup light corn syrup, 2 egg whites, a tablespoon of powdered gelatin, it's one of those little packets, and I've got 2 tablespoons of cherry juice. And instead of the cherry juice you can also use water, but I'm going to make these cherry flavored. We also need a 3 quarts saucepan, your candy thermometer, spatula, spoon, and a piping bag, and if you have a tip, uh, you can use one of the large tips to pipe the marshmallows. If you don't, you can just cut off the end too, that works. Off to the stove. I'm going to combine the sugar, water, and corn syrup. Turn the heat on to medium low. Stir this until the sugar dissolves. I'm not going to stir this anymore. The sugar is dissolved. I'm going to add the candy thermometer. I'm going to boil this without stirring until it reaches 235 degrees. While that's boiling, I'm going to take my gelatin and sprinkle it over the cherry juice. I'm going to add my egg whites into the bowl. I need my whisk attachment and start mixing those. That's 235 degrees. I'm going to remove from the heat. I'm going to stir in the gelatin and my cherry juice. I'm going to whip the egg whites until they reach soft peaks. Okay, that's soft peaks, so I'm going to add my sugar mixture, just like Divinity Candy, just add it slowly while it's mixing. I'm going to add some food coloring to make it a nice pretty red color. Whip this until it's stiff. It's getting there, it's not quite done. Okay, that's stiff. So I'm going to get my cookies and I'm going to put this marshmallow into a bag and I'm going to pipe the little kiss on top of the cookies. Just going to cut off the end here. I'm 
Okay, I'm gonna pipe on a little kiss. Okay, I'm gonna let these dry for two hours and then I can dip them in the chocolate. It's the final step. I'm gonna chop up some chocolate and melt it in a double boiler over low heat. I'm gonna use a dark chocolate, but you can use any kind of chocolate you like. Milk chocolate's really nice, or even white chocolate makes a really pretty cookie. Right away after I dip the cookie into the chocolate, I'm gonna add my sprinkles. Because if you wait too long, the sprinkles will roll right off because that chocolate hardens pretty fast. Now if you don't have a double boiler, it's not a problem. All you need is two saucepans. Put a little bit of water in one saucepan. Put your smaller saucepan on top, and that works just fine. So I'm gonna chop my chocolate. Alright, to the stove. Turn the heat on to low. Okay, let's start dipping. This is so amazing. Marshmallows originally came from the sweet sap of the mallow plant, and ancient Egyptians used this mallow plant for making candy delicacies over 2,000 years ago. But you had to be royalty, or a god, to enjoy it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Don't forget to click to subscribe, I definitely need subscribers. And I hope you try making these wonderful cookies, they're lots of fun, and making homemade marshmallows is like magic. When you see that happen, it's like, wow, I just made a marshmallow, so cool. Gotta be a little weird. <laughs> Keep it on the inside. And check out the recipes on kachinafolo.com. I really want one of these. <laughs> It's so good. Hmm.